All right, so this is our this is our compost tea that we made out of uh, yellow dock, comfrey, sting nettle, and if you have it, use horsetail and garlic scapes. I don't have horsetail here that I know of, and the garlic scapes won't be here until summer so right now this has been in uh, this bucket for about a week and a half I don't think it's been two weeks but maybe anyway it is ripe this is very uh, this stinks so what I'm gonna do right now is uh, I'm just gonna put this through a sieve That's the remnants. There's our concoction, our brew. Now we're gonna spray this. I'm gonna use uh, about a third and I'm going to top this up with water uh, that may even be a little strong but we'll see see how it goes also while I'm at it I'm going to go ahead and put some liquid kelp into this as well this is going to be a foliar spray and this this will just uh, enhance this Not much. That's enough. One gallon sprayer. You can spray this natural compost tea right onto the blossoms. It won't hurt. So that's what I'm going to do for this apple. Here's my most decent sized plum tree and uh that cold weather snap came in and uh, I think I lost all my plums. They're really a bummer. Uh, this was gonna be, you know, this was gonna hopefully be the year for some fruit. And, uh, tree looks great and the cold weather zapped them. I mean, uh, just, it breaks your heart. That. They're toast. Now this one had even more fruit on it. Look at that. They're done. They're done. You know? <laughs> that won't be a food supply for us this season. I am going to spray them though. If you know a lot about these foliar sprays, uh, I'm just doing this for the first year drop us a comment down below and uh, thanks for watching